this, I don't know if you see it, the whole carpet. This is ground ivy. Really, really beautiful little plant, often overlooked. It's just carpets like that. And of course, the big just stinging nettles and things in there. But I came out the other day, and this was absolutely smothered with bee flies. It was a bit warmer day than it is today. There were bee flies everywhere. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I'll get that in the camera. There. See him? Oh, he keeps catching the wind. I'm trying to get him in the middle of the screen. I don't know if you can see that. Floating about. There. That's a looper. That's a little caterpillar. <laughs> Coming down somewhere out of this willow tree above me. Making his way to the ground. So you see, once you get your eye down to small, small details, you start seeing things. I mean, I don't expect today to see any major wildlife because I'm walking around talking to a camera phone making a load of noise but what you can do is look for signs so we saw the bird sign back there and I'm gonna go and have a look where I know there might be some other signs so back towards our house there's my house So we walk back a bit closer to my house and there's some sign down here. I hear the culprit of this every night. You can see that there. Here. And here. And here. That's quite a fresh one. That's last night. That is the tracks, the spore of a munjack deer. He's obviously walked on this bit of mud when it was wet and made a little imprint. Yeah, some really good ones there. So you don't have to actually see the wildlife to know it's there. Once you know what you're looking for, it's all there. And that muntjac regularly wakes me up at about five o'clock in the morning. They bark and it sounds almost like a dog barking. It's a lovely noise when you're not trying to sleep. You can't see very well because my phone's not very good. That field is full of rabbits. This is another cool sign I found. This is a mature hazel tree here. So this is old enough that it gives us nuts. Well, I say it gives us nuts. It gives the wildlife nuts. I never get them before the wildlife does. And you can see hundreds of shells down here. And quite often with the shells you can find what it is that's eating it. Now these are all pretty much they've just been smashed which tells me that's probably woodpeckers or nut hatches or things like that because if it was a vole or a field mouse or even a dormouse or a squirrel they have very characteristic ways of opening up nutshells they tend to chew them, squirrels crack them open and mice and voles will chew a nice little round hole. That's more like possibly a mice or a vole. But then there are no tooth marks on there. Try and get that to focus. Yeah, there's most likely birds, but you can see how many nutshells there are down here. Just hundreds of them. And that's why I never get any hazelnuts. Never save any for me. Just, that's one of my favourite little signs. It's just spring is coming. There's the buds on the hazel about to open. Some of them even are oh, open there. Look. Another week or two, and it'll actually start to feel like spring. Let's see what other signs we've got here. Still a few berries on the holly. Which is all good. scooch around in the get down in the undergrowth and see what's what here can't see a lot at the moment people think I'm very weird doing this but I'm having a beano time and as I say you don't need a huge amount of knowledge to do any of this 
there's internet and there's books that will tell you everything. And there's yeah, a seed of some. Actually, that's beside that's a peanut out of the peanut feeder that's in my back garden. So uh, one of the birds that we get, we get a lot of blue tits on it. It's obviously decided to drop it over here. So in a few years time we might have a peanut tree growing there, you never know. But again it just shows things are about, things are moving. I've seen a few of these feathers today around here, there's some on the lawn as well. So I think something's had a meal of wood pigeon. And round here I've seen flying over plenty of buzzards and sparrow hawks I even saw it yesterday made my week we had a red kite fly over I only ever see those at my bedroom window in the morning by the time I come out they've gone we're going to see what's in my garden now you can see there's a lot of things you can find if you know where to look so let's have a look what's in the actual garden We have um, really hard soil here, i.e. it's not even soil, it's basically stone. So what we have to do is put everything in raised beds like this and import soil. But it means that even if you haven't got a proper garden, you can make it wildlife friendly. You can put raised beds in that. And the great thing about these is slugs and things like that don't really get into them. So you can grow crops in there and you'll get the slugs growing. Uh, not going on them. This is always much appreciated by wildlife, just a bit of old wood. And then I drilled all these holes in it, partly to let water and fungi in, but also you get solitary bees and wasps nesting in these holes and then their eggs. And all of our rockery is very old battered Buddha. Stompery, all this stuff, all these mosses that go on here. All these cracks and crevices and nooks and crannies for wildlife. Just loves it. And this is all easy to do. This is, I'm by no means, me and my partner are not gardeners. But we do all this stuff. And a log pile, again, it's just all a load of rotten old logs. And I decided not to put on a wood burner. This is great little hidey holes for frogs, lizards, newts, hundreds of bugs. And we've got our pond looking a bit sorry for itself at the moment. But again, we couldn't dig a pond here. So what we did is we just built this raised platform, just with bricks and bits of wood, put a pond line on it, filled it up with water. That's all we had to do. As I say, it's looking a bit sorry for itself at this time of year. And we haven't had any frogs born this year, I'm sad to say. But fingers crossed. Christmas tree. Temporary bit of wildlife that we bring in once a year. And then put back out again. And I'll say goodbye. Hope you enjoyed my little foray around my garden and my backyard safari. And I'll see you again.